My people, in this video, we're gonna tell you the importance of not pushing your hands. Brother, uh, I saw this video in Instagram and I, I apologize. Well, I don't remember the name of the Instagram that I saw it. But I will get you back in Instagram. I will, I will tag you. Uh, but I saw this interesting because it's a, uh, it's a big, uh, it's a big trouble these days. Issue. It's a big issue. big issue. It's a big issue. A lot of coaches they want to teach pushing, and a lot of players they will describe their hitting as a pushing, and it's a strong. It's a strong, and then they describe us as a the, the way we are as a launch angle coaches. And we are not launch angle coaches because launch angles is just it's a situation it happened naturally no matter where you hit the ball you hit it below you hit under you hit you hit on top the launch angle is the result after you hit it now they say we're trying to create launch angle we don't try to create launch angle the launch angle is just going to happen we're just trying to create better situation for your body to have more consistent less strikeout more pop because it's going to happen. All that is going to get to another one. All that is going to happen. Now, let's just watch this. As you can see, when they move forward, there's a guy from the Orioles, but I don't even want to say the name because I, it's not. that's not the point. This kid, he had 22.3% as a strikeout, and this year have 10% of strikeout. And I can see something here so pronounced. So like Betty, uh, you can see it. Okay. Look at here. 2023. It's a good hitter. He's still being a good hitter, but he's got the strikeout because some people think, no, they they trying to go up. They're trying to go up. We don't try to go up. We just trying to get in the right situation. Look at this. When he land. Mm, you see the, the you see the detail right there, the issue. Some people don't realize that. Some people, they, they don't see further than just what they learn when they used to play or further than a Rod explaining, you need to go on top, Tony Wynn, not to the ball, whatever. I like the, situ the, the thought process on whatever situation because everybody got good, uh, um, good, good intentions. intentions. Yeah. But look at this. You're pushing hands. And now, what in the hell? Tell me. Like, if you're pushing your hands and you are here, why... You think is that's better than turning the barrel. When you're doing this and the ball is coming 95, 98, your barrel is not in the sun yet. So guess what? Your barrel will take longer to get behind the ball. So now we are limiting ourselves to maybe hit the ball from here to here. But now we are more here and then forward, whatever you hit in front. Because your barrel is not early in the sun, right? Your barrel will get in behind the ball after you do this action. And so many players they wanna they, you want they wanna teach down and through it. And it's not turning. So down and through it, this is the action that down and through it. Now, here, 10 percentage. Look at the percentage of K. Okay? Look at that. The of strikeouts. And look at here. Very, very Look at the different. You see? It's less a strikeout right here, more strikeout right there. Okay? Now, look at how he breaking the back leg better. When he moved forward, look at the back leg already working and not pushing the hands. Why I know he not pushing the hands that much. It's just, if you can see the barrel action, blurry back there. Blurry. And then here, it's like more blurry over here. Pushing. Because he's, uh, instead of turn, okay? So, all that action, I allow him to get more barrel. Look at that. Almost hitting the catcher's mitt. Almost like a hit in the catcher's mat. Guess what? That allows him to have more um, more consistent because the barrel is getting early in the zone and then we'll get through it. We'll get through it. Okay? And then here, we want to cut the swing faster up front 
when I cut the swing faster up front because we're thinking that we were going to be quick to it, but you have to be smart. You, everything you want to try to hit up front, no, it's going to happen. It's not going to happen all the time. But everything that you're trying to get here and early in the zone without dropping your hands and connect it, you will have more chances because if you're late, you will hit it. But if you're early, and if you're early with the same swing, you will hit it better because your barrel's already behind the ball. Here, in this swing, your barrel will get behind the ball late. So now you have to for sure make sure, you have to make sure for for everything you got that you have to hit it up front, mm -hmm. okay? And then you're limiting yourself higher level you play. Now your talented uh, ability, it had to play out more because you have to make sure you hit it right, right in front. And you know what is the goal of every pitcher? Take you out of timing. They're not going to throw your fastball in the same spot, like fastball in the same velocity all the time. If that happened, you can push your hand and hit it up front. Yeah, because you already know that you're going to hit it right there. But as soon as they go a slider and you do that, you will strike out. As soon as you get a fastball after a changeup, you will do that. You're probably going to be late. You barrel miss. Then you get on top because you barrel not getting, not, not getting behind the ball the right way. So this is details that are very important about hitting these days. They are We are seeing it more pronounced on on video analysis, loscastrobros.com. That's what we have over here. If you want to really understand what is the move. The VIP. Because we got the knowledge and understanding of this exact move and description. We don't trying to teach you what a say over there, what, uh, whatever, whoever. No, we're trying to describe you what they used to do so you can apply. It. And if we can apply it, you're going to have more chances to play higher level because now we're hitting against pitchers that are throwing 100s and 98, and it's like everywhere, right? They're getting better. We as a hitter, we had to get better, and we had to learn because if we, you love this game and you want to play longer, experience opinion, experience opinions. I work everything. My parents take me everywhere. Uh, I throw my hands. I get inside. I throw the knob. I do everything in my power. I get drafted, and that's it. But my draft position it was low. It was not, it was not good, and in college I didn't I didn't get enough pop that I want to, and that's why I'm so obsessed about technique because it's helped my kids so much, and it's helping professional level uh, professional players right now because it's so much lack of knowledge about description or what's supposed to happen in your swing because we want to stay behind and we want to stay dinosaurs. We want to stay ah. But this guy, he like that, he was good. And we just want to let it, ah, whatever work, whatever work, whatever work. Okay, but yes, whatever work over here and feeling. But what really work, what really work, we, we, when we take just styling away, when we take fast tweets, muscles, and all that, when we take all that away, what work is the right description about how to have more consistent mm -hmm. with the barrel. Bring the logic behind about a good swing. When you start seeing your swing and compare it with the best players, and then you see your swing, and then you see this player, and you see the details that we're trying to explain you and the right drills and the right move, you will open your mind to another level. And then you like realize, you're going to realize that, wow, I could play. I, I can play in that level now. Because sometimes you're limiting yourself because you're limiting your brain. You're limiting the knowledge. Because ah, I knew I used to hit bombs, blah blah. blah. But it's not about you. When you are coach, it's not about you no more, brother. It's about to maybe that player is better than you. But just because you want to teach them how you used to play, that player is gonna be limiting themselves to your level because you don't open your mind to something more, more details. And these kids these days need more details. They got so much information out there. They they get wrong information. They get right information, but. If you feed them with the right information, they're going to be better players in the future. I agree. See you on the next video. Subscribe.